get the table and winning them games. And uh, if we can get our line out a little bit better, keep hold of the ball, I think you know we will be able to put teams to the sword. Um, and it's just a case of now Munster coming up, going away there, positive, playing rugby, and making sure we we do give them a game and go for the win. You're a brave man saying the lineup could be better with Rory standing there. <laughs> What do you reckon to that then, Rory? Uh, yeah, he is right. There's certain lineups that didn't go for us one good enough, to be fair, because uh, when we did win ball and the backs finished like that, we did like one of the sticks in. We wonder what would happen if we won all our lineup in this. So, if uh, the park now, we'll go review that now and then build on for a Munster. Okay, well, my arm getting a little tired already then. Um, I have you noticed how many ladies are here to see you tonight? <laughs> Actually, they're not here to see you, they thought JJ Engelbrecht was coming. <laughs> but, um... <laughs> anyway, I'm sure everybody would like to know. Um, Alan Wynne Jones, he's not here, we're not going to see him for a couple of weeks. You know, he comes over with these death stares, and uh, you know, nobody must make eye contact. You know, what's he like when he's private in the changing room or on the training pitch? You know, is he a big pussycat? Well, no, cut that out. <laughs> What's he, what's he really? No, you know, I think the whole team looks up to Ali. He's a real, true professional. Um, you know, he's the he's a role model for everyone in our squad. I think he's so switched on in what he does, and it's really has something to look up to. Um, you know, he, he knows when to switch off, but he has switched on quite a lot, which is good. Um, you know, and it, it does it, it does pull the team along along with him, and uh, it can only you know make good for the future with all the young boys you learning off him. Yeah, well, that's the official answer. <laughs> What's, what's the truth, Rory? <laughs> no, fair play. When uh, he wants to switch off, he can't have a laugh and a joke. But as soon as he crosses that line for the training or matches, totally different block. He's, well, he's a beast in fairness to him. He's a workhorse. And he's, uh, as Sam said, professional, off and, off, uh, off and on the pitch, to be fair. So he's a guy to look up to, especially for the youngsters and for the future. Uh, oh, they train well. <laughs> Uh, no, I'm not going to bother with that. <laughs> hard game today. We've got a hard couple of weeks now going over to Ireland because the Pro 12, you know, have done really well and given us these fixtures. How do you see the next couple of games going? You know, I think we've just got to be really positive. Um, you know, when we look at our team, we've got really good youth coming through. We've got the likes of Sam Underhill performing. Owen Walker, who was exceptional tonight. Um, and just, you know, everyone's full of confidence at the moment. I think we've really got to just keep the momentum going. The last thing we wanted to do was lose that game tonight. You know, we got a draw. Should have been better. Work on the things which we can patch up. The line out. Um, <laughs> it's, it's obviously not just the line out. I think, you know, we got to just make sure we keep hold of the ball, get in position earlier and react quicker. And I think, you know, we, we really will and we are confident that we're going to go to Munster to start with and get that win. Yeah! 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 Just following on from that, there a lot of players who sort of went off walking wounded tonight. Have you had a chance to know how bad some of them are? No, well obviously the physio team will assess the boys uh, tonight now, but we're just focusing on Munster really well. We've got a few days off coming up. But uh, the focus for Munster is going to be key again. This is the first performance for, you say, this group of boys. And I think in patches in the game, we show what we can do with our uh, yeah. well, physicality and a bit of speed and obviously some finishing, which is a great thing. And I think uh, build on the Munster, this next block of games, in fairness, we got Edinburgh home as well. It's going to be a good, we're going to have to put in big performances coming up. Excellent. Moving off from ourselves, international start with next week. What do you reckon? How do you think uh, it's going to go and who do, you, who do you think is going to win the uh, Six Nations? Wales! Well, <laughs> I'll have to say Wales really, you know? <laughs> No, I think, you know, obviously Wales have got a good squad going into, into the tournament and, you know, they, they always come good, come Six Nations time. And I think, obviously, with a lot of our boys in the squad, we'll all be back in Wales. You know, the likes of Biggs, Halloween. we just got to, you know, get behind them and I'm sure, you know, they will do the job. It's a tough game out in Ireland next week, but they've done it before and I'm sure they can do it again. Same feelings? Yeah, just uh, same, just wishing them the best to be honest, not all the Osprey boys playing and uh, hopefully Wales can come away with it. Well, let's hope none of them get injured and they start calling these two up. <laughs> 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 on, on a lighter note, let's get down to some silly questions. We've had some really bad weather. 
Where's your ideal holiday destination? <laughs> Ooh, let's be careful here, that was it. <laughs> um, oh well, I mean in the summer I went away to Cancun, so that was a good experience. Oh, yeah, uh, sun and stuff, nice. Um, nice relaxed, no beer. Um, <laughs> Nice, it, it was good, um, and yeah, that's probably my night at the moment. Uh, well, I, uh, I've got some family up in Australia, so I've been there a few times. Uh, so uh, I'd love to go back up there and just uh, spend some time in the sun and with the family, it would be nice. Like, uh, Rory will be off to Magaloo for the summer. Anyway, so. <laughs> and finally, embarrassing moments. Have you had an embarrassing moment you can think of on the rugby oh, pitch? Drop goal. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know with Rory, he started playing with Bonner Mines, so he's already got a fucking moment, but, uh, oh, tough any one. others? Uh, poor, I think, probably, uh, getting the shorts pulled down was probably one of them. <laughs> so, uh, I think that was a bit of a funny one for me, to be honest, I don't know what happened, but it did. <laughs> uh, probably out in Rassin when, uh, I think Sexton put a bomb up and I went up for it, and it hit me on the jaw and I was, uh, Wobbling all over the place when I got up, so uh, <laughs> try not to jaw the ball again. <laughs> anyway, these boys, I'm sure they want to go and have a shower. Yeah. Come here and a big hand. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, it's so